How many times have you delayed cutting the grass this season? It was too wet, then it was too hot, then you just didn't have the time. Well, there are many places filled with overgrown grass and weeds. Today, I was looking at how our largest city is dealing with the problem. Drive through any community and you'll see tall grass. Youngstown has an overwhelming number of properties where it's out of control. We're well over 3,000 and some right now as far as that need addressed. It's certainly been the season for growing grass, what with all the wet weather we've had. Now I'm about six feet tall. The city gets involved when the grass is over eight inches high. The city is a third of the way through a first cutting. Over 350 lots have had the grass cut in the last 10 days by vendors under contract. Those properties have a vacant house. The city cuts the grass where there are vacant lots with no structure. Tall grass with occupied homes are given notice by inspectors and usually have 10 days to comply. Yeah, it's frustrating. Uh, grass is growing extremely rapid uh, and, and you know, people want action now. Um, and it just takes time to get them all accomplished. And money. The city will finish a first cutting before seeing how much money is left to go back and cut the grass again. Tall grass leads to big problems. Rats and rodents like the cover. People use it as cover when dumping trash. It's a tall job to stay ahead of the problem as the grass grows, but you can always report a problem some lot. Wouldn't be bad to, you know, receive a phone call, and if it is on our list, you know, if we do have, uh, if it's already been addressed, then we'll let them know that, that list. Okay, we, we did receive phone calls on this, and we will get to it. In fact, exclusive web content at WKBN.com. I've put the two largest cities how to report a grass problem for Youngstown and Warren. By the way, if you think the grass is too tall in your area, call your local government. You can report it there as well.